Hey, what's up guys? Tanmay here for Simple Snippets. Back with another video tutorial on composition of classical relations. So in the previous video tutorial, we saw the max-min composition. Now in this tutorial, we'll see another method which is known as max product composition. So let's get directly to the numerical. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, I have the question and we have to make a composition relation that is T which is equal to ROS using the max product composition technique. So in this technique, let's just first denote both these relations in terms of matrices. So R can be written as, similarly S can be written in matrix form as follows. Okay, now let's apply the composition method that is max product composition. So we have to take the first row of the first relation and first column of the second relation and it is given by product of the two elements so the final answer that is t which is equal to ros of x1 z1 would be max of multiplication of this value and this value so 1 dot 1 and multiplication of this value and this value so it will be 0 dot 0 which would ultimately give us the answer of 1 similarly ROS of x1 z1 would be max of now this time we have to take this column but the row remains the same so 1 dot 0 comma 0 dot 1 so the maximum would be 1 itself for the third term that is x2 comma z1 we have max of we have to take the second row of the first relation so max of 1 comma 1 and 0 comma 1 so this would again ultimately give us value 1 and for the last element of the composition that is ROS of x2 z2 it would be given as max of Now last we have to take the last row and last column of both the relations. So it will be max of 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 1. So this would give us the answer of 1. So now we have found all the four terms of the relation that is the composition relation. So the final answer can be written as so the final answer is given as so the columns are the z values and row is the x values now since all the values are 1 we can say that it is completely related the, that is the ROS has all the terms required so this is how we go ahead and solve max product composition. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you understood the max product composition technique. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Peace.